Hello everybody, good morning, Matt Stewart here, Thursday morning here in lockdown in Airdrie and um, what a beautiful morning we've got this morning, I hope where you are it's like here because here the sky is absolutely beautiful blue and um, it's pretty quiet, you know the streets are quiet and the sky and the sun is just glorious. We're in for a really glorious day and I hope today you're going to have a glorious day and you're going to have a glorious day out there with the sunshine but you're also going to have a glorious day in there with your mindset. This morning, um, earlier on, I was doing my own bit of inner work, a bit of reflection. I hope you do that too. You've got a morning routine that gives you some time to, to feed your mind. Well, this morning I took some time to feed my mind with lots of really good positive stuff and the time to get my plans together for the day and to review my plans for the next few months, give myself that extra boost of motivation when I, I realise all the great things that are coming along, and filling my mind with lots of good, positive material. This morning, I was reading this book here, scanning the book. It's by um, a man who, a totally incredible man, Jack Canfield, and Mark Victor Hansen. Now, I've been lucky enough over the years to have met Jack and attended his seminars quite a number of times and um, he's an incredible man Jack such a positive example a transformational leader somebody who somebody who helps us to I think his tagline is to, to help us get from where we are to where we want to be and um, Jack calls himself America's number one success coach and certainly over the years he has been an enormous inspiration to me. I must tell you an actual fact, um, I was in Dublin in Ireland a number of years ago and Jack was doing a talk there. I went over specifically to, to listen to Jack and I remember going to the hall nice and early in the morning. I think Jack started about 9.30, can't quite remember, but uh, you know I was in the hall maybe about 8.45 and um, no one else there apart from Jack and um, the sound people and stuff like that were, were milling around and Jack was standing at the front door and he was welcoming people as they were coming in Jack was saying hi, good morning in his lovely American accent and people were filling in and I remember it was belting it with rain outside and you know we were all coming along trying to get in as quick as we can and Jack was standing at the front door and he was letting us all in and then he was taking time to meet with us and chat with us and make us feel welcome and you know I remember the first impression there I thought I want to be like Jack Canfield you know the sort of kind of person that radiates positivity yeah so the seminar the whole day thing went on and I wrote millions of notes and things like that and at the end of it there was a big massive queue to talk with Jack and I thought I'm going to tell him about the work I'm doing with young people. Now this is a lot of years ago and I wanted to tell him about the work I was doing with young people. Um, I guess at that point I was looking for somebody to say keep going, it's good work, keep going, you know, you're doing great, Matt. And I thought, geez, I'm going to meet Jack Canfield, um, author of Chicken Soup for the Soul and author for, of this book, Dare to Win. So I waited in the big, giant line to meet with Jack and Jack's talking, talking, talking to lots and lots of people and eventually it gets to my turn and he graciously said to me, he said, hello, Matt, I had a badge on, name badge, Matt, and he said, hello, Matt, I'm Jack Canfield and he put his hand out and shook my hand and never have I felt so welcome from someone he I said what do you do Matt and I told him all about my work in schools and he listened and he said you know when I go back to America he said you know did you know Matt I was a teacher and I did know that prior to Jack's um, business life he was a teacher and he said to me when I go back to America I'm going to send you a manual I must get it it's still in my book collection he said, I'm going to send you a manual. It's called Teaching Self-Esteem in the Classroom. I think that's what it's called, something like that. And um, Jack said to me, he said, I'll send you it. Uh, good luck, Matt. The work you're doing is fantastic. You know, keep doing it. And I remember leaving the seminar. The seminar was fantastic. Meeting the man was fantastic. And getting that positive affirmation was fantastic. And of course, a matter of weeks later, we should arrive, uh, a big parcel inside it. There was a letter from Jack Canfield. I've still got it. I'll look it out for you. Uh, with the manual. And um, teaching self-esteem in the classroom. I think it was 101 
resources or 101 activities to help you to teach self-esteem in the classroom by Jack Canfield. Um, so, you know, I've been a follower of Jack's for a, a lot of years, a learner from Jack's. Every teacher is always a good learner. And this morning I woke and decided to feed my mind with some positives from Jack Canfield. I wanted to share with you some of the very first words in the book. Um, it says, I think it's in chapter, very chapter one. Yeah, can you see this? It says, problems are an opportunity in disguise. Problems are opportunities in disguise. Life is a grindstone, and whether it grinds you down or polishes you up is up to you and you alone to decide. At this really challenging time with the you know the, the virus going around and a lot of fear for people with their jobs, a lot of fear for people, their careers, a lot of young people that you know college and universities are a bit on hold, qualifications are a bit of a challenge here in Scotland at the moment. Now's the time for all of us to remember that this is going to pass. Now's the time for all of us to dig deep into our attitude and to think positively about our future. You know, I'm sure, in fact, I'm convinced I know the future is remarkably bright for all of us who embrace a positive attitude. I'm wondering what you're doing today to feed your mind. I hope you're feeding your mind some positive things and I hope you're feeding your mind things that make you strong. I'm sending my very best wishes. My name is Matt Stewart. I'm with Entrepreneur Me and um, let me leave you with this really important thought. You're important. Life is good and things are going to get an awful lot better. Have a happy day.